Welcome to our tutorial about overloading. We're picking up where we left off in our previous tutorial. We're going to take up the concept of overloading in Visual Basic.net. Visual Basic enables you to give a class more than one method with the same name, but with different parameters. The parameters can decide which version of the method to use. Let's look at my example. We'll type the following code public sub new open parenthesis by val space name as string comma by val last name l name as string Let's close the parenthesis and return. I see my syntax error. I'm going to fix that now. And here we'll type the following code. Underscore name equals name. Next line, underscore L name, last name, equals last name. And let's end the sub. OK, what's happening here? Now we've got two constructors. The first constructor takes no parameters and initializes variables with the default values. The second overload constructor takes two parameters and uses them to initialize the variables. Now let's write some code for our form. dim a person to as new person open parenthesis and as soon as I open it IntelliSense offers some suggestions I can select from the first or second method we're going to use two parameters comma Smith and close the quotation and close the parenthesis. Now our second statement will pass two strings to the constructor. Let's right click and copy the message box function. Change a person to a person two. Let's run our program now. Here's our first message box, click OK. And here's our second message box. The overload method doesn't have to be used when you use a constructor. You can basically use this with any method you choose to. And this concludes our tutorial about overloading.